Hi, welcome to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm going to show you how to make a Boston cocktail which is featuring an apricot brandy liqueur. So a shout out to the team from Marionette for sending me an extra bottle. I placed an order and just received this a couple of days ago. This is an apricot brandy liqueur made using Golden Valley apricots which is uh, macerated, distilled and barrel aged along with a brandy from the Ango family, which is in Renmark, which is uh, local to, to my state. Their liqueurs are fantastic. They make all these uh, cocktail staples. I think they're just releasing an um, amaretto. Uh, they do cassis, creme de muir, apricot liqueur. So they're doing some really cool things here in Australia. If you're local, make sure you check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below. And they have given me an extra bottle and I will be running a giveaway. Unfortunately, it's only available to Australian residents but stay tuned for that Hotel National. Jump on that video straight away and you could be in the running for a bottle as well as some other swag that they've given me. Swag. 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 So given that it's World Gin Day, I thought before I made the Hotel National, I would make a gin-based cocktail with apricot liqueur. So therefore I've come across the Boston. So the Boston is a 45 mil measure shaken cocktail, 1.5 ounces, of a London dry style gin. Today I'm using an Australian gin, West Winds. 45 mil, 1.5 ounces of your apricot brandy. And fresh lemon juice, 22.5 mil, or three quarter ounce. So the recipe does call for a grenadine. I did have some fresh pomegranate, so I'm gonna kinda of do a makeshift grenadine. Tiny little bit of sugar, quarter ounce, seven and a half mils and I'll match that with the, the freshly squeezed pomegranate juice. So this is actually very reminiscent of a breakfast martini. I'll link to that in the description here. Uh, being uh, like a, a gin based cocktail with marmalade, just substituting it with an apricot liqueur. So it, it should come out fairly similar, although with the addition of a little bit of pomegranate. So give that a quick shake. and straighten into your chilled cocktail glass. Feel free to double strain if you'd prefer. And again, another shout out to all the new Patreon subscribers. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel. Over the last couple of days since my last video, I've had a few more people jump on. I'll be restructuring the rewards and we did have a private Facebook group, but there was only a small group of us. So I'm gonna be opening that up and I'll link to that in the description below. So anyone who is watching this uh, video at the moment, Feel free to jump on and you can start collaborating with us and having open discussions about possibly cocktail recipes that you want to see on the channel or or you can share photos of cocktails that you've made at home but there you have the boston cheers i'm very happy with that it's really well balanced just the right amount of sugar content to balance out that sourness it's such a vibrant looking cocktail. It looks super tasty. And of course, if you did want to garnish this, uh, if it was apricot season, if you had some stone fruit, then I'd put a little slice of that in it. But uh, for us, not this time of year, unfortunately. I'm actually a really big fan of this apricot liqueur. It's not overly sweet. Do you get the apricot flavor coming through? It works really well with the gin. And I think this is an exceptionally delicious cocktail. Thanks for watching, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.